the guru of Squad Double Zero, the assassin like no other. Yes, I'm the best at what I do. One of the most notorious in the YouTube anime and manga community. Don't doubt the infamy, please. I am back with another special discussion video. One that I came up with all on my own, mind you, um, yesterday. And I do this. Uh, sometimes uh, I take my own take on discussions. You know, come up with my own solutions. Sometimes come up with... But this one, I know no one else is talking about this. Nobody. Guaranteed. Um, like I said, I was thinking back on the chapter, One Piece chapter, uh, 793 and whatnot, yesterday. I almost did this video yesterday, but I came home after work and it was a bit later in the afternoon. I didn't want a whole light situation uh, that I had back on Thursday. But yeah, man, as a king, as a king of hypotheses, this is what I do. I think about things, I break down, I analyze situations, and I look towards the future. And here we have Capone Gang BJ versus Black Leg Sanji. What me you ask? Ah, now all you have to go back is to the chapter and see that Capone, who apparently seems to be allied, some people think he's in the ship. I don't buy him and his uh, subordinates, him and his uh, crewmates, or or in Big Mom's ship. In the big, big mom ship, the flagship, big man pirates. I don't think they're part of it, but I think he is an allied crew of uh, the ship. We we did, as far as I know, we didn't see his ship, um, the fire tank pirate ship, or their Jolly Roger. Apparently, it was big man ship, so they think that's that's that one. We see their ship pre time skip, so we don't know what it looks like. But he had his whole crew lined up. Why would he's not like former rear admiral? Red flag X Drake, uh, straight under Hokkaido, which I've been calling for the longest. He solo dolo, and he went to that Winter Island pre time skip two years ago solo. No, no, Capone, and apparently on another note, Capone went to this one island. It wasn't Raijin, as far as I know. As far as I know, Oroge went to Raijin. Oroge, and we see that Capone is better off than Oroge, right? But Capone went there and was the the three-eyed woman. Now, I'm and it's no surprise the connection, and I still say sorcery, okay? Three-eyed woman, Dr. Correa, big ma'am, Charlene Linlin, Yonko, big ma'am, Charlene Linlin, uh, eventually Nami, a whole different discussion. It's been hinted and foreshadowed, but the connection between there and, and big ma'am makes a lot of sense in, in a plethora of manners. But here we have him saying, let's go after Caesar, boys. Now, before I forget this, I got to mention, why did one of, they all carrying guys, okay? They all strapped up with rifles and whatnot, right? And maybe some shoddies, who knows? But as far as I know, we haven't seen a shoddy. Uh, ben, ben Beckman, first mate Ben Beckman might have happened. But regardless, one of them had a shield? You got a gat and a shield? Very interesting. And now that I think about it, we that hasn't been in warfare since like early firearms in uh Europe European warfare. I mean we're talking against some bows and arrows, like we're we're talking prior to muskets, like blunderbuss kind of stuff. Okay? That's some old ancient stuff. And it makes sense given uh swordsmen. I mean those are some big shields, those are like paladin level shields, so gotta give them gotta give them credit. But here we have the gang, the whole gang. When you look at it, this is going to be very interesting. As you see in my thumbnail, this is proving grounds. This is a proving ground situation, ladies and gentlemen. Capone, who a lot of people think is trash, I don't consider trash. We have not seen enough to say the way he's good or trash. I don't think he's going to be trash because he's part of the worst generation. Okay? And we saw all of the worst generation except for Blackbeard. They are no longer supernovas. People get that out of your minds. Supernovas happen every year, okay? There's super rookies for every year. Caribou is currently a supernova. Bartolomeo was one last year. Luffy Dem was two years ago. You know, Black is a little bit different. And then you had Cavendish the year before Luffy. Every year there's supernovas. These are the worst generation. And it's, Oda keeps reiterating it. You've had Law, Luffy said, as far as I know. Jewelry Bonnie again indicated it. So, let's, let's chill. Capone's interesting. 
because he's the oldest. As far as I know, I think he's as old. Is he as old as Gecko Moria? Or maybe he's as old as Pre Towns can go Moria. I know he's 46. He's older than Soul Crocodile. He's older than Shanks. He's older than Mihawk. He's older than Doflamingo. He's older than Kuma, if I'm not mistaken. He's older than Blackbeard. This dude's old, okay? In, in relative perspective, I mean, Luffy's 19. Zoro's 21. Uh, Kid is, I think, 23. Law is 20. Is Law 26? Law might be 24. Either 24 or 26. I know X Drake is like 24 or 26. Uh, a rogue, you know, we, we don't know about the rip, but they're young. Most of them are quite young. Let's just, just put it that way. So here we have this, and it seems that he has some of the technical mind, at least. Um, we don't see any scores and whatever, so which is very interesting. Which is very interesting. And may go to his devil fruit, which we don't know. But he's his ability is that of like a fortress. And again, I refresh my ability, uh, mind with, with some of it with the wiki. Because uh, I was actually looking for his, uh, see if we saw his Jolly Roger, which we didn't. But it's like a fortress. He can have people come in and out of him. We, we don't know the full extent of his ability. You know what I'm saying? He had fire, So he can put things into his bot. Yo, that's mad hacks. He can store. It's an, a storage type ability that we know of so far. We don't know what kind of durability. Ladies and gentlemen, we don't know what kind of combat prowess he has. So how can you knock what we don't know? I'm not in, in, in knocking him. When you you have to look at some of these tops at this worst generation of the worst generation. You know, of course, we have Yonko, Blackbeard, Marshall D. Teach. We got Strawhead, Monkey D. Luffy. You got a uh, useless Cap Kid. Shoot. You got Red Flag X Drake. Pirate Hunter, Rowan or Zoro. You got friggin', you know, Surgeon of Death, Strawfog Alone. Then you got some other cats. The, the middle dude. You got Scratch Me Out Poop. You got Basil Hawkins. Okay, so, you know, if people don't really consider, you know, whether it be a Capone, uh, uh, Jewelry Bonnie, or, Ru or Rogue, like, come on, they, just because you got these top dudes, don't make these dudes trash. Like, I mean, come on now, come on. But again, we don't know, so it's proving grounds for him. It's proving grounds for Sanji, because Sanji always seen his clashes. He clashed with Vice Admiral Vergo, even though I think he would have taking him if it was a death match I think it would have taken him would have taken everything pretty much from Sanji and we saw him he was complimented as a strong one by Do Flamingo heavily demon Don Quixote Do Flamingo aka Joker but at the same time I mean Joker kind of went away from him Sanji threw a nice attack he did annoy him but you no know, Do Flamingo handled him now mind you it was midair and Sanji uses his legs that's his fighting style Primarily, unless he uses blades, unless he uses knives, that is his fighting style. So, and, and some defense to Sanji there. But at the same time, still proving grounds. We even yet to see what Sanji can really do in the new world. We haven't really seen, we have yet to see him use armaments hockey, as far as I'm aware of. Okay? So, we got two dudes who, who is proving grounds. What can they do? This would be a phenomenal matchup in, the, in a number of ways. The Capone's about, you know, numbers. Numbers. That has been his thing. How is that gonna go against Sanji? How can what is Capone gonna bring to the table? Cause we see we been seeing what Sanji brings to the table. This dude's a he's a horrible, he's a pretty hardcore fighter, you know, in relative respect. I mean, you got you got monsters and absolute monsters and Luffy and, and Zoro. But Sanji can at least keep up. Relatively. He can at least keep up with these cats. So, you know, Sanji, Black Lady, Sanji brings stuff to the table with Diablo Jambe, Hell's memories and whatever else he brings to the table, right? He needs to improve, but, you know, that's a whole entire different discussion. But Capone, man, this dude, now, we don't know what has been going on for two years. And he seems to be an ally of the big, big mom parts, which I mentioned previously. When you consider that, what happened to him? Now, we don't even know about his ability really much pre-time skip. Now, it's post-time skip, we really don't know. And if he was with a witch, indeed. What could have happened to him? Some people say he got abducted because he got alien tech. There are so many questions. This dude looks better. Like, he, he, he looking nice. Oh, suit. I mean, and these are two well-dressed brothers. Not really my stuff, but they two well-dressed brothers. Um, Fighting styles, they seem 
likely it's going to be an interesting matchup. Here you have a dude and similar, seems to be a stationary fighter from what we've seen. The same way as you, Captain Kid seems to be a stationary fighter. Sanji's close range. Zoro, I mean, Luffy versus Kid's a little bit different. But Sanji's close range. That's, that's the kind of, he, had, he doesn't have long range techniques and really not really many mid-range techniques. So it'll be very interesting to see. And we don't know what kind of effect inside the little area that Capone has. We don't know if he could just shrink, you know. We don't know. We don't know what he we don't know. So there's a lot of variables. Then there's this whole thing with Caesar. And shortly to wrap this thing up, it'll be the first real kind of sort of sea battle. It ain't a full blown sea battle, but it's the first real that any of the straw hats have really ever fought. So it'll be nice to see that. At a battle at sea. That's great. That's great to see. This will be a very intriguing thing, depending on how Oda wants to play it out. But if he really has these two dudes, he you have one of the worst generation and the tail end of formerly the Monster Trio, because I don't consider them the Monster Trio post time skip. But Sanji and Capone, both men got to prove, both have a lot to gain and a lot to lose. Not only in the eyes of fans, but on a, on a legitimate scale in the new world. Caesar clowns up for grabs. Big of them is in the vicinity, or at least her, some of her officers. So this is heavy, y'all. Oda is he about to drop some fire? Yo, black leg. Yo, I know some people ain't gonna be hyped about that. But this, I think, is gonna be a legitimate fight. I think it is a worthy fight. This is a worthy adversary for Capone. You know, we don't want to just throw him to the to the piranhas because we know nothing about him. You know what I'm saying? We don't want a law situation. Now, I ain't saying law didn't put it in work against Doflamingo, but we don't want that kind of situation. But Sanji, we see him only do, like, we see where his kind of level sort of is. We, we, you know, what, what else is he supposed to do? Like, we saw how much struggle Luffy went through. So, what kind of level dudes? Someone of the worst generation is perfect. You know, we, we ain't talking about Yonko Blackbeard, okay? We ain't not talking about that. But someone of the same relative caliber. I'm not saying Capone is on par with Zoro and Son I mean Zoro and Luffy. That's not what I'm saying. But at least someone of the relative in the vicinity in, in around the level Possibly, I ain't gonna say until I, I don't know, but in, in the ballpark, like, let's just keep that with someone in the ballpark of Luffy, though. All right, makes perfect sense to really see, and maybe we see Sanji go all out. Don't know if it's gonna be totally possible because you know they're at sea, but I, my prediction was Capone could definitely push Sanji uh, all out, and you say, from what look, man. The dude's been chilling in the new world for two years. He ain't, he looking fresh. We see what happened to Kid. Okay, and you can say, well, he's an ally. Just because he's an ally, what has been said about the worst generation? All right, they, they always in the middle of something. Okay, here you got a rogue looks banged up. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, Luffy got scars, we know for why. Zoro got scars. We don't know why. Um, even X Drake got a little something on his chin. I don't know. So it'll be very interesting to see, and hopefully we get more information on both of these gentlemen. But yeah, tell me what y'all thoughts are on this one. And uh, do y'all think the fight's actually gonna happen? Do you think it's gonna be a legitimate fight? If Oda pulls this one off, oh my, oh my 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 my. And do I think Caesar Clown now that? I don't want to say Caesar Clown gets taken, but I would not be shocked. I mean, Caesar Clown should be dead if he ends up going to bat. Big man. But this is a, something I got to throw in there because uh, I said I would. And a dude brought forth an interesting thought. Interesting hypothesis. That Law called up uh, Capone and said, yo, you take Caesar Clown. Now, I don't. That, that's a little bit crazy to me. Possible. I like it. But it's a little bit crazy because Law is in connection with Capone. Not saying it can't be done, but that would be a massive uh, development. And actually would even out the alliance with uh, the the kid, uh, you know, Apu and, and Hawkins alliance. So, 
I don't know. I don't know. It depends on which path, which route Odin wants to go. I expect to wonder, like, comment, subscribe. Tell me your thoughts. And once again, on the subject at hand, on the topic at hand. And until uh, next time, y'all have a beautiful day, beautiful night. Peace. If they throw them hands, that's going to be nice. That's going to be very nice.